Ace Banks on the track. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaina. If you're new here, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're doing a Q&A video. How are you guys doing though? I've honestly been having like a, a very reflective kind of week where I've been thinking about how I just turned 20. Well, I didn't just turn 20. Well, I did. I turned 20 last month and I just kind of feel like a failure. Like, I don't know how to explain it better, but if you're in your early 20s, I think you understand what I'm talking about, where it's like, you start comparing yourself to other people who are also in the same age group as you, and then you start thinking like, what am I doing wrong? Or what do I need to do to catch up? You know what I mean? So that's how I've been feeling recently. But other than that, I've been good. I've had better days, but I had worse days, you know? What is your major and what do you plan to do after college? So I'm currently majoring in psychology. And the reason for this is because I've always been someone who's interested in the mind, how people think, and it just I just gravitated towards it naturally. But also I just never would sit there and like major in biology or a humanities. Like I don't like to read that much. Like I do, but just not English. What's one hobby that you'll always keep up with? So yeah, I've been like keeping up with art, but recently I've been painting and just having a lot of like motivation for uh, painting. Sorry y'all, I got distracted. <laughs> Are you more of a coffee or a tea drinker? I personally like tea. I don't really do coffee like that. And if I do drink coffee, it's in like a very sweet frozen form, like frozen coffee, fraps. Um, but I don't really go out my way to go to Starbucks. I'm not really like a, a, a coffee drinker. Sorry guys. But I, I don't know, if you guys love coffee and you have a, a, a drink that you really like from Starbucks, I'll try it. But never go out my way what are your own red flags this is a good question and honestly it's easy for me to answer i always think about like what i could do to be a better person for me i think that sometimes i'm very impatient if things don't go my way i'm kind of irritated and that kind of displays sometimes sometimes that gets in the way of me like really enjoying a moment like what's your top artist you've been listening to right now i don't have a top artist that i've been listening to like i really just do listen to like a lot of different people but i've really been enjoying rama's new album recently and this is the song i like are you more spiritual or religious and why so if i was asked this question a year ago i would have said i'm more religious but now I'm more, I'm on this journey essentially. And I kind of had to recognize that there's like this intersection between being spiritual and religious. Like it goes hand in hand. I grew up on notions that it's two separate things and being spiritual is a whole other entity. But in reality, like even just praying is spiritual. And I had to realize that, that there's there's like a, a coinciding of it. I'd say that in some ways I'm both and I'm trying to figure out where I really stand with different things, like where to draw the line between those two. We can make a video about that. Talking about religion is hard, but like, I love talking about it. What are your favorite things about yourself? Um, I'd say, I like how passionate I am. When I really, really care about something, like it's really, really present. It's there and like, you can see that I care and you can see that I am like engaged and I'm like, you know, showing, displaying that it's important to me. And I like how genuine I am too. Um, I'm gonna take a second and eat some cake. Someone asked, where do you see yourself in five years and 10? Hmm. In five years, I think I'll be 25. I don't know why I said I think like that was an easy ass math. Um, 
I'll be 25 and I think it really just depends on the path that I take. Right now, I couldn't tell you specifics, like I'll be here or there. I feel like I'm very like spontaneous. And so I might be living in a whole different state, to be honest. I like change, I like starting over. And I don't know, like Boston's not really doing it for me. It's really not. And Connecticut is really just a bad state. Like if you live here, I'm, I feel so bad for you. Like I go to school here, but it's horrible. East Coast is just kind of depressing in general. Um, like I don't hate it. Like, especially for medicine, like I am gonna be a PA. And I think like we do get higher pay here, but like the pay's not worth it if it's like shitty here in general, you know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna move somewhere else, far, far away. Maybe down south or in a whole different country. But anyways, now it's time for the juicy questions that I know you guys have been waiting for. Things that are a little bit more personal. Um, let's see. Somebody asked, are you single? Yes, I am single. Are you guys single? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Why am I single? That's a good question. I'm single because I need to be. I just need to be. And I'm just not looking. Well, I'm not really searching. I never really am searching for anything. I'm more like a come to me kind of person. If it's not coming to you, it's not for you. Stay by that. What's your body count? It's zero. Anyways, I wanna get at the other questions that I missed. I know I'm missing some of them, some of them questions. Who is your celebrity crush? My crush is this man. He's very beautiful. If you know him, you know him. If you don't, you don't. What is your most memorable moment in elementary school? I'd say the most like, the first thing that even comes to mind was this incident that happened on the way back from school, like I was on the school bus and we, we reached our stop. We reached my stop right in front of my house. And these two boys were like, you know, we're getting at it and going back and forth and stuff. And you know, I'm watching, I'm just like, what's going on and mind you in elementary school i was very much the girl that no one knew like if there was a corner i was there who's kind of i don't know like that was that was what it was like i did not interact with people like that like i had like a few friends but like the friends i was friends with were the only people who know me so like i just was really to myself and i was known as the quiet girl but watching it i was just like damn like what's going on you know or like that's the first time i ever see like witness violence in my face like oh shoot but these two boys going at it arguing and then like it gets quiet and then all of a sudden i hear the kids saying like Ooh, what happened what happened what happened so you know i'm haitian i have to look to see what's going on like it's just in us to be freaking nosy so i look down the aisle and i see the boy with a freaking pen stuck in his head the other boy, when they were like, you know, swinging or whatever, he took a pen and he stabbed him in the head. And he had like blood trickling down his face and stuff. And it was just like, wow, like, he was, I don't know, he ate that, like, for real, because he did not react. It was like, hey, I'm thinking, like, people really do be fighting. Like, people really do be angry. And <laughs> I ain't saying that. I got off that bus, went back home. Okay, somebody asked relationship advice. I think, like, I can tell you the most basic things you hear every day, like communication is key. Don't get into a relationship if you're not ready for one. But I wanna move past like the whole basic stuff you hear all the time. I wanna get at like, what's really going on in this day and age? The dating pool is just getting smaller and smaller, guys, in my opinion. The, the good men that we have to select from, it's just, it's almost becoming non-existent to me. Because it seems as though like the time people are on right now is very very far away from what i conceived as like or conceptualized as love no one seems to like be on the marriage route no more or like 
want to be in committed long-term relationships. It's interesting how like with the attention span getting shorter, relationships are getting shorter. I don't know if there's like a correlation between the way that we interact with social media and the way that we view people. It's really interesting, but it's sad because I think as the days pass, I get less and less optimistic for my fantasy about what love would look like and relationships dies. I think when you're little, as a little girl, I was always like, yes, like having that that soulmate or meeting my person, that would be like an ultimate like catch. But now it's kind of just dead, you know? I don't really, I don't really have that vision anymore. Somebody also asked career goals. I have a career that I want to do, but I'm not a career oriented person. If anybody really asks me or knows me, I would say that I know what I want from life and the career is not the first thing that comes to mind. I honestly believe in living a life of leisure and just being happy. But when I think of like that vision of being happy, I'm not sitting there thinking, yes, being a doctor makes me happy or like being doing this set career makes me happy. I just imagine myself relaxing on an island, eating mangoes. Where do you see yourself in your channel in a year? Um, I'm hoping that in one year I'll have about a thousand subscribers. I'm a little bit anxious because I don't know, like I'm an unpredictable person. I'm just hoping that I'll feel more confident about these things. For the last few questions, one of them was who is your target audience? And that's, there was no target, but I do love my black woman. For the weird, quiet, black woman, this is for you. I am you, you are me. I appreciate if anyone felt connected to me or these videos. I just love to be real and I don't like doing too much. So I'm sorry y'all for these takes, like so many takes in this day. Like, I really hope that anyone who is in the same kind of bracket where they feel kind of lost, this is for you. And YouTube is kind of just like my calling to, to get somewhere. Why feel less confused, you know? We can be confused together. Pop me a perk, bitch, I'm kinda hot Couple of them blunts got me kinda fried Four in the stew, been there since nine Smoke me some runs just to get by Bodies dropping, asking God why Everything true, I ain't gotta lie Keep it on me, I ain't tryna die Gun on me, my mom ain't gon' cry Glizzy on me, nigga, I ain't shy Trap busting, nigga, never drop